してるより愛してることを伝えることばが Oh, hello there! Ma Terry here in our fabulous co star, Miss Lucy. And I got a strange video for you guys, and I thought you would appreciate watching the sunset. It's so beautiful out there, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so I, while I was in、uh, Quartzsite, Arizona during the RTR, I thought I'd make a list of things that were important to know before you go. So a lot of my viewers are going to say, well, then why don't you just do this list next year? Because next year I'm going to forget it, and I think I'm going to make a special Quartzsite RTR playlist for everybody. So、uh, that would be wonderful. But there's a lot to know.、Um, going to the RTR, it's very, very crowded, but I'm going to do it in numerical order. All right? Enjoy the sunset. All right, there's going to be things that you're going to hate. I'm going to do that first. Things that I just couldn't stand, and then all the good things. All right? So, number one was the cell service.、Um, the cell towers aren't made for a Hundred, what, what was it? 500,000 people showing up in the desert all at once.、Um, they're used to 3,000 people in quartzite. So, cell service is bad. I suggest you get a Wii Boost or something like that. I don't get a Wii Boost、um, because then it gets hard mounted onto my roof. I'm going to see if it can be magnets、um, because I do stealth camping and that would make me stand out like a sore thumb. Number two, Traffic. Traffic is bad and it's slow go、um, up and down, you know, the two roads that are there,、um, especially over by Tyson Wells where the big tent is. So just have patience. All right, three, too many people, or so it seems like too many people. But you know what? If all these people didn't show up, they wouldn't have the big tent, they wouldn't have the Tyson Wells show, the art and craft fair, the gem and mineral fair. So they're doing it for a reason. Ah!、Oh. My favorite, people can't drive. <laughs> It, it's not bad like it was in Laughlin this weekend where a lot of people were drinking and driving. No, we got a lot of senior citizens. We got a lot of、uh, four wheelers out there that just kick up the dust and everything.、Uh, yeah, they need driving lessons.、Um, some of them don't even know they're driving. Oh, <laughs> they're so bad. All right, number five empty store shelves. If a small town like、uh, Quartzsite used to have in 3,000 people and, and all of a sudden you have half a, million half a million people, all right, stock up on stuff at home, okay? You know, of course, the stores there appreciate your business, but I feel like the locusts are upon them and, you know, empty shelves everywhere. All right, so now then, there are homeless on every corner begging. But they're not the bad, home, bad homeless.、Um, these are nice. Most of them are just kids. They're smoking a lot of pot or whatever, whatever. More power to them. They don't bother. The only thing they don't do is bathe regularly. I guess all our homeless jump in the Colorado River, but、uh, that, that's the only thing. You know, they're like hippie, you know, and they, yeah, they really smell like pot. All right, one of my Uh, big things is there's not a lot of trash cans. Like here, I can pull in front of Joann's or Ace Hardware or wherever I'm at. You can put your trash in a trash can.、Uh, for some reason, the city doesn't have a lot of trash cans out there. All right. Not a lot of public restrooms. All right. Good and bad. In a normal city where you have, like,、uh, I'm at Joann's right now. I can just run into Joann's and use the bathroom or over at Hobby Lobby. No. There's not a lot of franchises, major box stores. You know, you do have the McDonald's, but then you have lines to use the bathroom because everybody got to go, right? Ah, my other favorite thing fast food isn't fast. Okay, I try to get. I get up at six in the morning and I run over to McDonald's, but even then,、um, you have 500,000 people that are hungry.、Uh, they're all there. Um, but like I said, try to get there early. And also,、uh, this year, remember, everybody's having problems hiring enough people. So the demand is there. Oh,、uh, one thing that drives me nuts Arizona doesn't、uh, go with the time change. So, you know, I go back and forth. Like right now, I'm in Arizona. I'm in Arizona and I go over to Nevada. Well, It's six o'clock here at night, it's five o'clock over there. You just got to constantly remind that. And I'm not good at resetting my body clock. So, Arizona doesn't put up with the time change. All right, so we had the RTR over at the community park. And the city all knew about it. And they, you know, I guess Monday they come, they clean the little restrooms over by the dog park and they put in two rolls of dog、uh, uh, toilet paper. 
Two rolls of toilet paper for thousands of people? Are you kidding me? So they need to up their game. They were The city was very appreciative that we were there. And that's just one of the little things. All right. Dirty dirt, dirt, dirt. Dirt is everywhere. You are walking on dirt constantly, okay? So, you know, you're gonna bring sand into your car. Make sure you have a nice little brush to brush it out. Little rocks are gonna get caught in your shoe. Um, dirty dirt, dirty dirt. All right, and uh, walking your dog. Walking your dog, you know, it's rocky, it's gravelly and everything. There's not a lot of cement. There's not a lot of sidewalk. Um, your dog's paws aren't used to that. So take it easy on your dog's paws. And this is just something about Arizona. California is way different than Arizona. Sales tax. If, you know, we're in Quartzsite, so their sales tax is reasonable, but I just thought I'd mention it because a lot of people come in through Parker. Well, you, uh, and this doesn't happen in California, but in Parker, Arizona, it depends if you're on Native American property or regular property. Like, let's say I go to a restaurant and it's on Native American property. They have their sales tax and then you pay the uh, Arizona sales tax on top of that. So it's not like they lower it or they combine it. No, it may be 7%, but now all of a sudden it's 15%. So uh, you're really gonna get hit hard. So like, I'm not sure about the Walmart and Parker if you're thinking about uh, stocking up on supplies, but check it out first, okay? So what do I love about uh, Quartzsite, Arizona? Number one, I had a blast at the RTR and I'm gonna do it again noisy and I hope you all join me uh, next year but okay so there's not a lot of franchises not a lot of places to go to the bathroom uh, but you have these wonderful mom and pop businesses hundreds and hundreds of them and I absolutely love shopping at mom and pops and I love the fact that the stores are outdoors most of them um, you know franchises another thing I don't like about franchises I can go in this store and they have the same stuff as the next door and the next door and the next door I mean home Home Depot and Lowe's have you, you know just the same stuff but all these stores have unique things you can find some of the weirdest things I think I showed you I found my uh, Mr. Planner's uh, uh, drinking cup there I mean you can find anything from 70s vintage beads uh, oh my gosh I got a really great uh, cooking pot cover there's the cooking store over at Tyson Wells it's wonderful so yeah uh, no franchises I mean you got a lot of creative mom and pop shops so you're gonna be able the shopping is amazing oh the other bad thing is bring cash bring cash bring cash or your checkbook, you know, go go uh, invent a time machine, go back into the past and bring your checkbook. They don't like charge cards. The whole town doesn't like charge cards. I mean, sure, you can use a charge card at a, a McDonald's or Love's Truck, but most of the stores and uh, most of the people over at the Big Tent, they don't like it because charge cards do charge a high rate. All right. Another great thing is free BLM land everywhere. I mean, I can't throw my shoe without finding a piece of BLM land. And it's easy to camp on the BLM land. 99% of the time, not almost 100% of the time, there's no problems. You know, um, so I love the free camping. I really do. Uh, I love the funky restaurants. Oh my God, they're so much fun. And, you know, I found some with really, really good prices like La Comida over at Rice Ranch and uh green goes over at tyson wells i mean really really good prices so um but funky creative barbies the one that had the uh, barbie truck and everything i mean they really go out of their way to come up with a creative me uh creative menu um Okay, the other nice thing at Quartzsite was they had the dog park. The dog park was really nice. They had three different sizes of uh, dog parks, small, medium, and large dogs. So that was nice. Um, and everyone got along at the dog park. Oh, and my favorite part, no flies and no mosquitoes, okay? I guess it was so cold that, uh, yeah, no flies and no mosquitoes. Okay, so that's my list. Um, the things I don't like about Quartzsite, pay attention to them, heat them. Like I said, if you're coming to the RTR next year, stock up on food and groceries, you know, um, really be uh, prepared. Uh, places like K&B Tools, you can get your butane at, you know, a lot of camping supplies are there, but it's just like everybody needs groceries or all of a sudden you're in the mood for this and uh, places get swamped, the restaurants get swamped. 
All right, sorry to keep you guys so long. Let's have uh, Miss Lucy say good night. All right, goodbye from Ma Terry and Miss Lucy. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I got that list done. I've been working on it for a long time. And your little paws are okay, right? I had to carry her around a lot. She's a little tender, but what do we say, Miss Lucy, huh? We will see. I should dub something in. We will see you down the road. Kotoba ni tayorazu, anata no koto wo dakishi.